learning new information about why this center providing alternative cancer treatments was raided and its owner arrested. 10 News broke the story yesterday and today 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is live at the Hall of Justice with why the district attorney says Robert Young stepped over the line. Steve. Steve, the DA says that Young bilked tens of thousands of dollars from people seeking cures for cancer. He is allowed to offer care, but not puncture the skin to administer drugs. Robert Young, who calls himself Dr. Young, had his arraignment on charges of conspiracy to practice medicine without a license and grand theft. This is Young on his ads, promoting his books and seminars on alternative health care. You don't get cancer, you don't get diabetes, you have to do it with lifestyle choice. It's, it's a matter of choice. Young's PH Miracle Center in Avocado Ranch in Valley Center was raided Thursday and he and a co-worker were arrested. Young calls himself a doctor because he has a PhD. He's not licensed to practice medicine in California. He did things that only a real doctor can do and the, the fraudulent component has to do with selling treatment to people who are terminally ill knowing full well that the treatment will not be effective. She said there were 12 victims listed on the complaint, six of whom died. One patient who died was Thomas Doty, profiled on 10 News last year. He had been the victim of an internet scam where a woman claimed to be a nurse who wanted to donate a quarter million dollars to help with his treatment. That never materialized. Doty was already near death when he came to Valley Center. Young's attorney argues that state law allows homeopathic treatment, and that's what Young provided. The only thing that the prosecution has alleged that would not be allowed is for my client to insert intravenous needles. My client denies that he ever did. There were licensed doctors at the facility and registered nurses who did that. Young is published internationally, and his claim is that patients come to him because of his teachings. A bail was reduced from one million to one hundred thousand dollars. If he's convicted, Young faces more than fifteen years in prison. Live downtown, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.